Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is going to be good for Aries, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus placements, or if you are dealing with an Aries, these messages may resonate with you as well. These are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what does not. Energies can be interchangeable. All right, so swap the roles if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, check your other placements for additional messages. Okay, so we're going to be looking at past, current, and future energy for my Aries <clears throat> today. You have something here about divorce, maybe separation. You could be meeting someone that's going through that, or this could be your energy, Aries. All right, there's something here about someone not expressing how they feel towards you or vice versa. All right, so we're going to look at energies between Aries and the person they are connecting with, person on your mind, Aries, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, past, current, and future energy. We will pull advice as well. Aries, past, current, future energies for my Aries. What do we got for Aries? I am seeing friends with benefits. Some of you could be dealing with a friends with benefits type situation. Some of you may know this person through work. For some of you, some sort of office affair going on. I do see soulmate, okay? And karmic. So some of you are dealing with two people or your person could be. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on, Aries. <clears throat> yeah, that divorce card is showing up again. So you could be meeting someone that's divorced. Maybe they have children or this could be your energy. And you could be deciding or trying to decide if it's worth you putting effort into. But more so than anything I'm getting, maybe you released someone um, in your recent past, okay? <clears throat> okay, so you do have an energy here of you guys are moving away from something or you in your recent past, you're moving away from something that it was something where <clears throat> it served a transitional role in your life, okay? It, it was somebody who taught you a lot of lessons, right? But it wasn't... It wasn't your forever person, even if you felt like it was at some time or at some point it wasn't. It was someone who, who served a transitional period in your life. Current energy you have, <clears throat> you could be connecting with someone who's at a distance from you, okay? There is someone here who feels, if it, they're not at a distance from you, they feel energetically like you guys are at a, <clears throat> at a difference from each other. Communication, <clears throat> in my throat chakra, <laughs> communication could be very difficult between the two of you. It could be somebody who doesn't really open up and express how they feel. You could be connecting with someone like that. <clears throat> it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I'm getting as well. In your immediate future, there's something here about secret lover. So keeping a relationship or keeping a connection a secret, keeping it to yourself, okay? There's something to pull one more time on each card, so I will. Uh, you have open relationship here in your recent past. So this was a connection for some of you where it felt very one-sided, okay? It could be some something where it just never really got off the ground. It never turned into anything committed with this person. Someone was scared to get hurt, I'm getting. Also, I'm getting a lack of trust here, okay? Current energy, yeah. This could be someone that you meet through work. Aries. You have a message, tread carefully here. Maybe that's why it's being kept a secret for some of you. What's in your immediate future? Yeah, you may feel like this person, you're questioning whether or not this person's playing games with you is what I'm getting. Someone could be going through a divorce and that's why it's being kept a secret. For some of you, I'm getting, it won't be for everyone. But you guys are trying to decide whether or not this person is just playing games with you or if this is something serious. It does feel very new. So let's see what's going on here, Aries. <clears throat> So what's going on for my Aries in love? Some of you could be traveling as well. I'm getting, or this, you have to travel to see this person, Aries. <clears throat> Let's take a look and see what's going on. Five of Cups. Yeah, there's an energy here feeling like there's some sort of missed opportunity. All right, uh, crying over spilt milk, focusing a lot on the loss in the past, okay? It's like 
doing a lot of reflecting on somebody hurt you in the past, Aries. And with this RIP, I feel like there, and again, in your recent past, there's some sort of ending here that happened between you and whoever you were connecting with. It's like you're the one that got away or you feel this way about this person. What can you tell me for this? Yeah, three of swords. Whatever this energy is, it's like whoever this is, they really hurt you. There's a lot of pain here in your past, okay? And there was an ending here. Yeah, it brought in a lot of anxiety, stress, worrying, fears, doubts. It had you all up in your head. This is someone that you, it looks like you dealt with them for a while, Aries. <clears throat> But I do feel like there's a separation or some sort of breakup here in your recent past. Okay, what's the current energy for Aries? It looks like you're going to be meeting someone through work in some type of way, Aries. This person could be at a distance from you or their energy feels very disconnected or they come off that way. Queen of Swords. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as I said. But someone here feels very emotionally detached or trying to keep their emotions completely separate from whatever's going on here. The tower could be a Scorpio. I feel like this happens very unexpected. Aries, what else do we have? The world. You guys are completing a massive chapter in your life. Okay, your, your, your lesson and whatever this is is coming full circle. Again, with the world and long distance though, this person could be at a distance from you. Three of cups. You may meet this person while you're out with friends. But I do feel like you guys are going through this huge transition, the world. Okay, maybe that could have something to do with why you're so emotionally detached, right? But I feel like whatever this is, it happens very unexpected and quick. Also, I'm getting this ending had to happen in order for you to meet this new connection or in order for this new situation to come in, Aries. <clears throat> Some of you could be over indulging here with the three of cups, like over drinking, partying a lot with your friends. There's something here about that as well in your current energy. You have the moon with secret lover here in your immediate future. So there's something here about <clears throat> keeping this on the down low, keeping this like on the down low, Aries. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces I'm getting. There's a lot of fears moving forward, and maybe that's why you're keeping it a secret. Let's see. Clarify the moon, please, in your immediate future. But whatever this is, it's like you're keeping it to yourself. I feel like this is something new. If it's not brand new, it's like a rekindling with someone from the past, Aries. What is this in your immediate future? The moon. Why is the moon here? There's a lot of fears. There's Things are not what they seem here. Knight of Wands. <laughs> I'm clarifying the moon and what are we hiding? The Knight of Wands. There's a very passionate connection that you have with someone here. Very passionate connection that is being kept a secret. All right. Right now, it seems like it's in that very fun, lustful, passionate space or in your immediate future. Right. But it's whatever this is, there's a strong energy of this being kept a secret. And then you have the Nine of Cups. So this is a wish fulfillment for you, Aries. This is something that brings you in emotional fulfillment, something you've been waiting for, something you've been hoping for, okay? I'm gonna pull one more for this immediate future. Tell me more, please, for my Aries. What do they have to look forward to? Okay, now you have a whole bunch. Could be a Virgo for some of you. You also have Gemini. Wow, Ace of Swords. Yeah, Page of Wands. I feel like this is something new. It could be with an Earth sign with this King of Pentacles energy. All right, this is very, it is a very fiery, fun energy. This reminds me of your energy, Aries. You could be connecting with another Aries for some of you. But this is something that you manifested. I feel like this is something that you manifested. And it comes in after this period of like heartbreak, pain, despair, I'm hearing, withdrawing your energy, going within, okay? And being very clear on what it is that you're wanting to manifest, creating something new. And it's coming in for you this week, Aries. You are receiving some sort of breakthrough, download. Um, you're seeing things very clearly, okay? There's some sort of like truth or breakthrough here happening for you in your current energy. 
you may receive some sort of communication that brings you clarity in regards to a decision that you made, Aries. I feel like this is also, you may receive some sort of message or opportunity from this King of Pentacles energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they don't have to be, but they do have this energy about them, this earthy energy, and it could be, be for some of you, that office affair energy here, someone that you work with, but it doesn't have to be. This is somebody very stable, they know what they want, but I feel like this is starting off very slow and it's being kept under wraps in the beginning is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> so let's, let's pull some more cards here, Aries. What can you tell me for my Aries? I feel like though you guys are definitely, you recently got out of something or you guys are stepping away from something right now is what I'm getting for those areas I'm connecting with. Divine timing. So worth waiting for divine timing. You guys have been waiting for <clears throat> this new opportunity for quite a while. Divine timing is here at play. So <clears throat> maybe the timing was off between you and this person in the past for some of you. You've been waiting for this. What else? Wow, true love. True love. You guys have a true love connection coming through. Yeah. See, let them go. But you have to let something go in order to have this new beginning with whoever this King of Pentacles energy is. You guys are releasing something. Yeah, solitude. You guys are going into solitude, taking a break, spending some time alone, doing the work. What's the current energy for Aries? But there isn't, yeah, you guys may be in a space of kind of overthinking, overanalyzing. Look at this, healing. Doing a lot of healing work, spending time with friends, living in the moment, having a good time. What's in your immediate future? Incomparable. Nobody compares to you. Yeah, I, some of you, this is someone returning that feels like you're the one that got away. Yeah, look at this. Heavy work energy. Someone that feels like you're the one that got away. Okay. You may be trying to keep yourself really busy with work to not focus so much on love and what's going on here. Keeping things light. <clears throat> Something's coming in that you don't see though with this moon, this lover, this candidate, this, <laughs> this offer from this King of Pentacles energy. And it does, you have the Nine of Cups, so it does bring in a wish fulfillment for you. No one has ever made this person feel the way that you do, Aries. You're irreplaceable, okay? I'm ready to build on a more solid foundation. So I'm connecting with a group of you guys, Aries, who this is someone that you may be rekindling something with, someone that you knew in the past. Would you mind spending the rest of your life with me? I'm convinced you're the one for me. This person's convinced that you're the one for them. I'm ending my current relationship to be with you. Some of you may be... Some of you may be dealing with someone who is ending a relationship to be with you or vice versa, okay? But I do feel like there is an ending in a relationship here and then there's a new start in, a, in another one. I'm not going to give you the impression that I like you too much. That's that Queen of Swords energy. This person is very hard for you to read, I feel like. What's your advice here, Aries? What is your advice this week for Aries? What is your advice? You can definitely expect... An exciting new uh, connection coming through, Aries, this week. Aries, what do we got for my Aries? Heavy work emphasis, though. Like, adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So some sort of adjustment. Yeah, I feel like this ending. What is the advice for my Aries, please? Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So your hard work is paying off. You have good karma coming to you. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. So there's an energy here of <clears throat> your hard work is paying off, Aries. There are some adjustments that need to be made, some, some sort of tweaks in whatever is transpiring for you this week. Stay hard at whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, working hard, and be. it's okay for you to make the first move here is what your advice is saying. Tell me more for this advice for my Aries. Knight of Swords. This happens very quick. Quick and sudden action here. Again, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, <clears throat> or Aquarius. So this is all about taking action. Be bold, make the first move, take action. 
What else we got for my Aries? Page of Cups. Could be connecting with the Pisces. Okay, but there's an energy here of it's okay for you to, to take action and communicate communicate your feelings. Some of you, if this is like something you've been dreaming about or like I said, manifesting. There is an energy here of getting out of your own head. Eight of Swords. Some of you may be experiencing some like anxiety, panic attacks, uh, <clears throat> really stuck in your thoughts, trapped in your own thoughts here. There's an energy. Yeah. Move away from that. Six of Swords. Needing to move away from that, move to calmer waters. This is your advice, all right? You have all the tools that you need to manifest whatever it is that you want to create the reality, I'm hearing, that you want, that you deserve, that's coming in for you. <clears throat> but yeah, there is an energy here of getting out of your own way, getting out of your own head, not overthinking, overanalyzing everything, because this is showing up in your energy here, in your current energy, all in your head, overthinking. So needing to move away from that energy. What else do I have for my Aries advice, please? Wow, Two of Cups. You guys have a deep connection coming through. All right, a deep connection. But Two of Cups also speaks on like you and yourself as well. Nurturing yourself, Two of Cups. Um, and this goes in line with that healing energy. So continue healing. Look at this, Nine of Wands, King of Swords. Five of Wands. So again, with this King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, there is someone here, Aries, that there's going to be some drama and conflict with. It's going to be stressful. Some of you may have children involved, uh, too, specifically. But some of you may have children involved that makes this stressful. Okay, this could be the person from the past, King of Swords energy. It doesn't have to be. This could be the person you're trying to move away from or that you are separated from. But there's a lot of conflict that comes with this situation this week. Okay. Try not to allow this to take over your thoughts. Um, try not to allow this to take over the energy that's coming in for you because whatever this energy, whoever this person that's coming in for you is, Aries, it is a very beautiful energy and it is a wish fulfillment for you, okay, with this Nine of Cups. But I feel like, yeah, you, you're trying to keep it under wraps or keep it a secret maybe because you're trying to avoid drama for some of you, okay, with this Five of Wands energy. Competition, strife, arguing, conflict, all right? So yeah, in your advice, let's go back to this magician. You have all the tools you need to create your reality, to create anything that you want. So utilize that and stand in your power. Some of you, you are, not some of you, all of you, you're way more powerful than what you're giving yourself credit for, okay? Move away from the drama, move away from the conflict, move away from this energy of being trapped in your thoughts. You're not trapped. Okay, so that is what I'm getting here, Aries. I hope this was helpful. I hope this brought you clarity to your situation this week. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.